motorcycle gears and all so today was me and my best friend Nyla her name Nyla well her nickname Nyla she called me this morning like come on we about to come and come go down and come down Sunday and you know chill or whatever she came to my house we left went down to where my father stayed so I rode she rode her bike to my mother's house and then we rode and then I rode my bike and she rode her bike to my dad's house so everything was going good like clean good excellent good so we end up going to get gas no so from my mom's house we end up going to get gas we went to go eat and then we came back to my dad's house so we end up after we sat when we got to my dad's house we sat at my dad's house to talk to my mom about um because she went to the jazz fest so we was talking to her watching videos talking to my mama phone about the jazz fest or whatever she showed me you know people who was performing so we was there for like a cool 20 minutes. 20 minutes fly by. After the 20 minutes, I'm like, come on, Nala. You know, we finna, let's just go down to the lake and, you know, you know, let's just see what's going on. So we riding there. I'm like, oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. So I had a UE and we went back to my dad's house so I can use the bathroom. So I'm there for like 10 minutes using the bathroom or whatever. We finna leave. I'm like, come on, let's just ride through Gordon first and see if it's going. If not, then we gonna go to the lake. So she's like, okay, that's cool. We could do that. So as we ride and we go through Gordon, it's low, it's going, but it's not going like how it usually goes. So we end up just, we end up just leaving. Like we circled around and left. So we on our way to the lake, the lake literally down the street from the park. So we just rode to the lake. I'm like, well, we might as well just sit here until, you know, like it start getting like late because they don't start going to it get late. So I'm like, come on, let's go chill at the lake. So, me and her, we park our bikes, lock our bikes, walk, go sit on the lakefront. So, we just sitting there for like a cool 10, 15 minutes watching the water, getting a breeze because it was hot. So, we watching the breeze, that on the third. So, I asked her, I'm like, well, Nyla, let's go to my dad's house and I'm going to wash my bike. And then by the time I get done washing my bike, we're going to come down Sunday. You know, so my, you know, because that's like it start getting, when it start getting late, that's when I come down Sunday, start going. So I'm like, all right, so we just gonna go watch my bike, come back, come back down this way and go to court. And she like, all right, back, cool. So we about to leave. So we about to leave. So we walk in from the lakefront. So we walking towards our bike. So I'm walking towards, I'm walking, we walk in the park and I'm like, damn, where the fuck our bike? Cause the cars were just in my way and I couldn't see cause I didn't have my glasses on. Like now I'm being blind. I know I should have my glasses on. But, so we walk, I'm like, damn, we park our bike. So. It's not the Cleveland Police, it's like the Cleveland Metro, however, it's like the Cleveland Metro Police, or whatever they is. But so, they come flying down with their lights on, so we like, ooh, they're about to get us. But they flew past our bike, so we ain't thinking nothing of it. So we still walking, the police, or the Cleveland Metro, whatever you call them, turned around and pulled, you know, in front of our bikes, like blocked them off. So now me and her like, ooh, Lord, what we didn't did. So they cut our bikes off. So they didn't cut our bikes off, but like they cut us out. Like even if we tried to leave, I was not, we was not getting out of there. So we walk up to the bikes. They like, they asked her, is this her bike or is this my bike? We said it's her bike, which it was her bike. She got a scooter, I got a motorcycle, two different things. So what really threw her off was her plate and then her ID and then her registration. It all had different names and the plate was not hers on that was registered to her bike so that's what threw her off so i'm thinking i'm cool like i got tags stickers my id my registration so they asked me for mine i'm like dang so when the police originally like first pulled up i was already on the phone with my dad because that's who named 
that's who names on my bike so i was already on the phone with him so i'm he listening to everything that's going on because my dad wasn't in town at the time he was in nashville so i'm on the phone with him my dad if my dad was in cleveland he would have came you know what i'm saying my dad don't play that so i'm on the phone with him the whole time while everything going on so i'm like yeah dad they just asked for my id or whatever that are third so y'all i'm only 15 she's only 14 so we only got she got a state id i have a school id because I went to my 10th test, so I was waiting for that to come in. But I still had like an identify card, so like you can know it's me. So he asked, well, can I see your license? So I go to my bike, I like tell him like, I don't have a license, I have a student ID. He said, okay, so he look at me like, you don't have a license. I'm like, well, here go my student ID. I'm like, is it okay if I unlock my bike? He like, yeah, I unlock it. I gave him the, the ID, what a student ID. He like, so I asked him, y'all, this one I knew they just been watching it. I asked him, I said, well, do you need my registration? He like, no, we already got it. So they been riding around uh, reading our plate. So she go on the phone with her dad telling him, so he on his way. I'm on the phone with my dad. So basically they was, basically we was getting our bike. Basically they was, the reason what they was doing this was because I was a minor, no license, and um, my sticker was expired for a whole year. And what she was getting was basically the tag didn't match her, the ID and the registration, it was all different names. And it was just, you know, all different names and stuff. So that's what caused them to do that. But me and my best friend, we don't really go nowhere but stay in the area. So it was kind of weird for, you know, the police to mess with us because they never mess with us. You know what I'm saying? Like it was a Sunday, you know, we just sitting at the lake and mind y'all, our bikes was parked. We was not even on the bike. So that didn't make sense for them to bother us. But you know, if you live in Cleveland, they gonna mess with you regardless, it don't matter. So when they was telling us why they was doing what they was doing, we just thinking like our parents gotta come get the bikes and you know, they gonna take them back, ride them back. We just thinking we cool, you know, they gonna give us a little warning, da da da. No. So I'm on the phone with my dad and all I hear is them, all I hear is my dad on the phone with her dad talking about, well, if they told it, they told it, give it, get them the business. You all, I instantly started crying. I started crying because like, you all doing all this for what? Now I can see if me and her were speeding and you all caught us, but our bikes were parked and you all coming to mess with us. You know what I'm saying? Like we wasn't even doing nothing. Literally walking to our bikes about to leave. You know what I'm saying? So it was no reason for them to bother us, but the police need a reason to bother anybody. So, once my dad said that, I did start crying. So, once they did that, once he said that, I want to say, like, a couple of minutes after he said that, the police officer came up to me like, we're not going to charge you for uh, not having license and minor and all this extra stuff. I'm like, cool, you know what I'm saying? So, he was like, but we are going to get it towed. Y'all. When I tell y'all, I looked at him in my head. I'm like, toad. So now I'm really crying. I'm sorry y'all mad, so now I'm crying. These the police. I can't do nothing. I can't say nothing to them because they got more power than me. Now I'm mad. I'm sorry. I'm crying. Upset. So around this time, when he said that, I instantly called my mom because my mom was in town. I'm like, mom, I'm crying. Like, so I'm crying. Like, mom, they about to tell my bike. Da, 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 da. She thought I was playing. She like, so is you for real? I'm like, yeah, mom. So she speeding or whatever. She come. So by this time, it's already tow trucks and everything. I'm gonna insert like pictures throughout the videos. I mean, throughout the video, I'm gonna insert pictures and videos of them putting on the tow truck, the police, how big the scene, scene was for no reason. So basically, um, after they called the, the tow truck, they was basically saying like, um, can I get your address and um, date of birth? At this point i'm mad because y'all bothered y'all came and bothered our bikes when they were parked we weren't doing nothing wrong and you messing with us so now i'm mad so at this point they already got the tow trucks and stuff coming so my mom my mom come and her dad come so basically we didn't get any like fees or anything like that they just impounded our bikes and yeah, so now our bikes are in the impound, and I'm supposed to go get it. So when y'all see this video, it's gonna, I'm going to keep saying tomorrow, but when y'all see it, it's going to be the day that I get the bike. So 
yeah i'm going to go get the bike tomorrow um i'm going to go get the bike or see how much the impound fee is so i get the bike out tomorrow but i definitely understand about the you know not having no driving i mean no motorcycle license expired you know i understand that part but still i feel like if me and my friend wasn't doing nothing that bad like speed and racing why was we being stopped or why our bike being impound but like some police officers in Cleveland, like if you got a suspended license, a sticker, or like a sticker that's like a year old, or just anything, they'll warn you like park the car, turn the car off somebody, you know, that got a license, a valid license, you know, come pick you up, or you know what I'm saying? These police officers did the absolutely most, and now me and my bestie bike is in an impound, and now we gotta pay to get the bike out, so. I'm not, well, during the process of my bike getting towed and they asking all these questions, I was furious because you're towing my bike when me and my bestie didn't do nothing. But literally, our bikes were parked. So at the end of the day, this video is to tell y'all if y'all want a motorcycle or learning how to ride a motorcycle, make sure y'all got y'all license, uh, registrations, make sure y'all plates not expired, um, and y'all stickers because they is getting these people with these motorcycles, y'all. They about to, they getting them. But I'm going to insert videos and stuff and so y'all can see how they overreacted for no reason for two bikes with um, expired tags and two girls who didn't have a license to ride the motorcycles and how much they, like, just overreacted. And what's crazy is the first two officers that pulled up was in one car and then another one pulled up and then another one pulled up. So basically three cop cars for two girls mind you two minor girls that don't even have a parent so it's all these cop cars and not once did they ask can they speak to our parents they just were speaking to us directly so when my mom pulled up this is when my mom pulled up um she was like well can i just ride the bike home because i have my motorcycle license they're like no you can't do that so the officer told my mom that I said that I rode the bike up there. But that man never asked me once, how did the bike get there or how did I ride it there? The man only asked, where's my ID and who bike it was. So for that man to go lie to my mom and tell her that I said that I rode that bike up there, you did not hear that come out my mouth. But that just goes to show that police officers lie. But hey, I ain't really, I ain't really mad over that because I'm going to get my bike tomorrow but i'm just telling y'all the police is crazy they come and get everybody make sure y'all just got y'all stuff updated renewed and all that because they being they being on bs for no reason y'all but yeah make sure you guys like comment and subscribe make sure you follow me on all my social media so you don't miss when i post because i do post all when i drop new videos on my social medias so, y'all, we on the road to doing better, to more success, to running up a bag together. So, make sure y'all guys like, comment, subscribe, stay connected through all social medias. And I'm out. Peace.